Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. Whether you're new here or a returning viewer or you happen to be a subscriber, your presence is appreciated here either way it goes. So today we're going to be looking at the Explorer QRZ-1, it's the exact model here, of uh, Handy Talkie. It's a dual bander, 2 meter, 70 centimeter. And even though this isn't an official unboxing, um, I've had this one quite a while, I'm going to kind of just point out the components, show you what it comes with, and we're going to go ahead and do a power test, a uh, power output test for it um, with my uh, Surecom uh, little uh, SWR power meter right here. Cool little device here. Got this also off the Amazons. Um, I'll do a review on this later. All right. So when you receive your QRZ-1, you get a couple of components here. As you can see, you get a charging cradle here. You get the rubber duck antenna. You get the radio, of course, itself. And as you can see, it's not not considerably large. It fits comfortably in my hand. It's probably about five inches, probably just shy of six inches here um, from about the knob all the way down. And then you get the battery. And of course, I've already put on the stylish belt clip. And this is a 1400 milliwatt. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, this is a 1400 milliamp, uh, milliamp hour battery. Um, Gets a decent charge. Battery just clips in there. It has one of these release clips, so that makes sure that the battery is uh, secure. I do not believe this is waterproof or dustproof. Uh, I will double check on those, but I do not believe so. Um, if it is, I will drop any of the ratings down in the description of the video. You get your basic earphone, microphone. Jack piece over here, the basic two ports you use for the charging cable and other Baofeng type uh, connections, I call them. Your PTT, one of them I believe is your, your alarm, and the other one switches straight over to NOAA radio, if I recall correctly. The antenna port is a SMA female, also has a really handy dandy light in case of those dire situations that your phone all of a sudden does not work. And the antenna, of course, is a male. Again, this is made for two meters, seven centimeters. So the cool thing about the QRZ-1 is that if you go on to QRZ.com, which is a website where amateur radio operators can use to create a profile, log their contacts via HF, forums, and such things like that, there is a jumpstart program offered through QRZ. I will also link that in the description if I can. If not, I will pin it as the top comment. You can go on there, and I, I remember correctly, you will be able to get one of these radios for free as long as you pass your technician's amateur uh, license testing. There's also some other caveats to it. So, again, I will link the full description down either in the description or I'll try to pin it to the comment, whichever I can do for you. So let's go ahead and we'll put on the power meter and we'll test out the power here. All right, so this is the power on medium for the two meter. You see there it's registering 5.35 watts on the two meter national calling frequency. So we'll switch over to the 446 there. Apologize again, the backlight's off. There we go. 446 national color frequency. And again, this is on high power. So let's see. And we're putting out 4.15, 4.1 watts on the 440 on the high setting. The radio is able to do high, medium, and low, which I believe the high end of this, it is a rate as a 5 watt output. I believe medium. Is around three watts or two and a half watts and low is one watt and i've also noticed that of course switching between your two meter and your 440 you would have a little bit of a higher power output on your two meter than you would your 440 so as the saying would go with medium and low power you'll get just a little more oomph if you're on two meter compared to 440. anyway another detail about this radio that i like is with the charging cradle and back here you'll see it has the positive, negative terminal, and the T terminal, which stands for that this is a battery, it's, it's a battery sensor for the temperature, it's a temperature sensor. 
So if you leave certain electronics on the cradles all the time, they can overheat, therefore destroying the battery. This one has an internal temperature sensor in it so that it will prevent it from overheating. If you just have to leave it on the cradle and you kind of forget about it, it sits wherever it does in your house, your work desk, out the barn, whichever. So, well, guys, that is the quick overview and power rating of the Explorer QRZ-1. It's a great little simple handy talkie. Again, it's a great entry entry level walkie to have. And since there is a jump start program for this, you have nothing to lose. You get yourself a free walkie and get on the air and start getting into the comms because it's always about getting ready and you need to be ready in all aspects. All right, guys, until we catch you around the next video, remember, always be getting ready. Till next time.